We knew the columns in Jane's tattoo were consistent with a particular architectural style. But the hidden bullets, that was news to me. From Jane's perspective, they look almost exactly like 40 caliber rounds. I cross-referenced the bullets with the building style, and guess what? The same rounds were used to shoot up the wedding of a Mexico City narcotics officer last year. Police suspected the Juarez cartel, but the investigation dried up because detectives kept getting murdered. That level of violence definitely matched the Juarez M.O. I tracked down the serial numbers for the guns recovered at the scene. Three months before the massacre, they were recovered in a raid by the New York DEA. How does the Mexican cartel steal weapons from the New York DEA? They don't. The DEA sold them. What? That was through the gun waltzing program? Why couldn't I find that? Because you don't work for the NSA. I thought the attorney general shut that program down. Apparently not. What is gun waltzing? It's a bad idea. It puts these weapons back on the streets through agents posing as arms dealers. Then trace the weapons back to the big players for big busts. Only sometimes they lose them. Hang on a second. This says that the DA is set to release more weapons to its program today, including four sting missiles. Are you serious? What, don't, don't weapons that size seem a little risky to use as bait? Stings can hit targets up to four miles away. They're reliable and accurate. Wait a second. Nine Juarez cartel associates popped up on facial recognition at JFK yesterday. Does that seem like a pretty big coincidence to anyone else? It's not good. The Juarez cartel has been increasing its attacks in southern U.S. Shepard did say it was urgent. That thousands of lives hang in the balance. The cartel are going to buy those missiles from the DEA. They want to hit a target here, today.